Stone, do this. Good job. Do you like that train stone? Don't do this. Choo choo. Don't do this. Choo choo. Stone. The doctor's talking to you. It's okay. Stone, come back to the table. No, enough with the train. Come on, go sit down. Listen to your doctor, okay? Stone. Stone. It's okay. It's okay. Stone, why don't you pick up the box while your dad and I go outside to talk? Okay? I really need you to just observe for now. That's what I was doing. You were interacting. Look, I know it's difficult, but it's okay. I promise this is the process. He was playing with blocks. It may seem silly, but ABA therapy has proven to be really effective for many children on the spectrum. Okay. What are you going to be doing next? Well, I'll be leading him through a series of exercises. It's all about repetition and positive reinforcement. So I might ask him to identify a particular color from a set of choices or to rebuild structure from those blocks and when he does well then I reward him and if he doesn't do so well then what then we try again until when until we move on to more complicated behavior I mean we can continue with ABA therapy to help him learn communication skills social interaction look he's not slow have you heard him talk about rocks he's just shy around you that's all Stone's autism isn't a reflection of his IQ. I mean, he could be a genius. And this therapy could unlock that for the whole world to see. I need you to give this a chance, please. Let me try. Whoa, whoa, whoa hey, wrong direction. This belongs in the morgue. Uh, told you so. Who said that? You know, when it first happened, I freaked out, but now it's just plain annoying. Okay, you guys playing a joke on me? Is this no, joke no, no, not at all. He's uh, quite adamant about being dead. Is there a problem? <sighs> not anymore. What's your name? Skinner, comma, Allen. That was my government name. Well, I preferred to go by Skin, comma, Alien. <laughs> alien skin. Sexy. Ever heard of me? No. Story of my life. My short, tragically short life. Well, guess what? You're not dead. Well, how do you know? Because I'm talking to you. Yeah, well, you might be dead too, buddy. Who brought him in? What, what is his name? Please do not tell me that somebody actually pronounced him dead. I'll check the intake records. Take him up to psych, get a drug panel, make sure he's not on anything, and just get him off the gurney so it doesn't scare the other patients. Okay. Okay, come along with me, Alan. It's alien, man. Alien. Why don't I just call you Al? It's okay. She looks like she's sleeping. Mr. and Mrs. Byron? Yes. I'm Dr. Julian. I've been tending to your daughter since she was admitted. Please tell us you can save her. I'm sorry. We've done everything we can. <laughs> What's next? Um, does your daughter have a living will or did she ever express her wishes? Should something like this happen if she'd want to be kept alive on life support or? Well, we, we actually 
We haven't spoken to our daughter in many years. If I may, I know what Cynthia would want. Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude, but we really don't. I don't know you. I'm Allison. Doctor, this is a family matter. We'd prefer it be kept private. I am her family. And are you really trying to tell me that you have no interest in knowing what Cynthia would want us to do? Doctor, I believe we have a right to ask that anybody not a family member be barred from our daughter's room. What? Sir, I, um, I don't think that's necessary. No, no, if we I could just... insist. This has been very hard on my wife and me. Please don't make it any harder. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I know you're my doctor, and a very good one, I understand. I am. I know my chances here. And I, and I, I, I promise I'll get this dealt with. I did say I was going to come back. I mean, why can't I be treated somewhere else? This isn't the only hospital in the world, right? Well, yeah, sure, because the Congo's known for good quality chemo. I know the risk. I know what's going on here. But I just can't have this ruling my life. You're scared. You are. Just admit it. I mean, you're not running off to the Congo to get some rebel leader. You're too scared to stick around and face this. I really don't want to listen to this. Am I free to go? You're an adult. I can't stop you. Fine. You know what? I can stop you. I'll have you committed. That's right. I'll have you declared incompetent. You wouldn't dare. Go ahead and try me. 